stupid, so used. I never felt so close to anyone before. I thought that it was the same for Mike, but all the time I was just another notch in his belt. Surprise, you look marvelous. Well, since Lily couldn't join us for lunch, I thought perhaps we could all have dinner together here at the club. It's a marvelous idea, man. But first I have to go to the station. Something came up. That's well, fine. I'll keep Lily company till you come back. Lily's still at work, Mama. Really? So late? What can possibly be that important? I don't know. Janice Maxwell called and said uh, there was some sort of a problem. Well, whatever it is, it shouldn't take precedence over her health. I mean, to stay up so late, to work such long hours, it cannot be good for her or for the child. Mama, please, don't you think I know that? Now, why don't you make yourself comfortable? Let me deal with Janice's problem and my wife. my temper. I didn't mean to blow up like that. But the idea of being forced to resign, of losing everything I've worked so hard to accomplish here, is very upsetting. I understand your anger. I'm not sure you do, Janice. In any case, I'm, I'm very busy right now, so why don't you just go home? I'd rather stay here and talk this out. Please listen. To what? The facts aren't going to change. You hired a racist skinhead and used W.O.A.K.'s money. You did it secretly and in defiance of Kim's orders. We have nothing to talk about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have the Paul Zahn Harry Smith interview to get ready for. today by Crest, the dentist choice for fighting cavities. Crest with Floristat. I was just horrified when my daughter had cavities at her last dental visit. I said, doctor, what can we do? He said, I'll give her a fluoride treatment here, but she's got to brush twice a day the right way at home. Because you can't have a dentist fluoride treatment every day, between visits, Crest Floristat treats your teeth with fluoride to continue the fight against cavities. It's a fluoride treatment for your teeth at home. So, Sally brushed with Crest, and her next visit was great. I've got to act like a mom and think like a dentist. Crest, a fluoride treatment for your teeth at home. Wrap yourself in softness, feel it on your skin. Downy softness, come on in, come on in. Wrap yourself in softness, feel it on your skin. Come on in. Wrap yourself in the softness that even stands up to line drying. Mid-price brands can leave clothes feeling stiffer, but only Downy gives you the most fluffy softness with Downy's April freshness. Wrap yourself in softness. Come on in to Downy. Yeah, I'm 36. And if I see one more gorgeous 18-year-old trying to sell me wrinkle cream, I'm going to scream. There's so many beautiful women of all ages, much older than me. <laughs> I think I'm beautiful. Oil of Olay. So sheer, so light. It penetrates quickly to boost skin's moisture renewal process, reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles. You know, if you can make me look gorgeous, I think even Prince has had the chance. <laughs> A lifetime of beautiful skin. Oil of Olay.
Millie, I don't blame you for being angry. I realize I was wrong to involve this guy Jones in what I was trying to do. You sidestepped a policy you didn't like. I just, no. I disagreed. I was just trying to keep the option alive. I, it won't happen again, I swear. What's important right now is this interview. I feel like I know Harry Smith and Paul is on. I watch their show almost every morning. I could do the interview cold right now. Plus, I have experience on camera. There's no reason for you to do all Believe this work. Believe it or work. not, Damien and I do watch television. Yes. And I'm very familiar with their show. And I feel very comfortable in front of an audience. That's it. <laughs> Lily, please. There's a big difference between singing a set now and then at your husband's club and doing an interview like this. You are like really this. something. You know that? I have no qualms about doing the interview. If I run into a problem, I'm sure Harry and Paula will help me out. How can you be so damn casual about something I'm this big? I'm not being casual. I just don't want or need your help. If you force me to resign, I'll have to put together a reel of my best work. This interview could be the highlight. You owe me this shot. Wrong. We've given you every shot possible. And you have betrayed our trust in return. I don't owe you a thing. Leave this W-O-A-K. Now, please, goodbye, Janice. Are you telling me that Damien agrees with this? I'm not going to speak for Damien, OK? But we're partners. Oh, partners. You use that word so easily. I wonder how Damien would feel about your partnership if he knew. If I knew what, Janice? What's going on here? Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's freezing in that library. It's that Fergus. Hello, oh, baby. How are you? Oh, my goodness, where is everybody? I thought, um, I thought Julie would be fixing supper or, uh, Rosanna? Is Caleb not home yet? Yeah, he is. Uh, Julie talked Caleb into a movie in Mabel's Red Hots. Oh. Rosanna, she's out of pot. What, alone? She's having problems with Mike. She's pretty upset. Well, maybe I should go. I already her. did. Oh, you too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? It surprised me, too. <laughs> anyway, she said she wanted to spend some time alone. Oh. I'll get it. Happy. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Is this a bad time? No, no. Come on in. Oh, you have coffee. Mama, this is yeah. Tracy Donnelly and her Hi, son, R.J. Nice to meet you. Hi, R.J. <laughs> I think you used to go to school with my Meg. Yeah, we were good friends, yeah. but my name was Sullivan then. Yes, I know. I knew your daddy, Klein. He, uh, he used to work on projects with me at the Farmers Association. He was a lovely, lovely man. Yeah, I thought so, too. I miss him. So does R.J. Mm. It's good to see you again, R.J. I have got something for you. It's, uh... <laughs> Softball, right? Right. <laughs> I found out that I used to play catch a lot. And I hear that you used to play catch too with your grandpa. And I thought that maybe you and I could play catch together sometime. I'm sorry, Holden. He's just <laughs> not over losing his grandpa yet. Oh, it's OK. I understand. So, what brings you by? It's kind of complicated. There's a decision to be made, but I'm confused. Um, I just got back from Chicago, and I promise I won't burden you. I just need somebody to talk to about it. Well, sure, I'd love to listen, but... I promise I won't burden you. I just... I used to talk things over with my dad, but he's gone, and so I thought of you. Uh, Holden, uh, I'm going to take Aaron out uh, to see the car. And how about R.J.? Would he like to come along? R.J., would you like to come along? R.J., do you want to see a great car? Yes, the old car. It'll be fun. I'll come in a minute, OK? OK, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me take your coat. OK, thanks. Can I get you some tea or something? Oh, tea would be great. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wait, let me, let me do your coat out here. Wait, just a minute. Oh, hello. Oh, how are you? Hello, hello Alexander. gentlemen. Uh, I was uh, I was looking for uh, Rosanna. Is she uh, is she inside? No, she's not. She's she's down at our pond. Uh, she oh. was uh, Holden said she was upset about something. Hmm. Eduardo, pick up the phone, Eduardo. <clears throat> Thelma, Thelma, Thelma. 
<laughs> it's after six. Thelma's gone. Fast Eddie Grimaldi is gone. Nobody here but us chickens. You're right. You are a chicken. What's happened to you? Where are you? Where is my shark with his pointy teeth? Where with his bloodlust? I still have my teeth. I just don't flash them, that's all. Ha uh ha. -huh. There's a point to that. What do you want to tell me? This telegram signifies that Olivia is one of five finalists for the cover of the premiere hey. issue of Yolanda Birch's new fashion Very magazine. Good. I'm so glad. That's wonderful for Olivia. She needed a lift. Yeah, not so what? fast, though. What? Barbara Ryan is one of the finalists. Ah. So. Olivia will leave Barbara in the dust. I hope. <laughs> what do we do next? Well, each of the finalists goes down to Birch's house in the West Indies. Uh -huh. Yolanda Ooh. speaks with each one of them and then picks a winner, the cover is shot down there. She talks and she picks. That's mm. wonderful. Well, I think Olivia will come through for us. I knew that she would come through for us. I suppose it's pointless to remind you that she had a great deal of help. Yes, indeed, and I acknowledge your input, Mr. Anderson. I'm sure that um, Olivia does, too. <laughs> oh, I don't like the new, the new paragraph in the Dima proposal. I don't like it at all. I'm so glad you're here. Well, let's find a fine tooth comb, shall we? I do apologize for intruding, Lucinda. I called your home and they said you were still at the office. Well, Olenia, you're not intruding at all. What, what can I do for you? I'd like to have a few words with you in, in private, if you don't mind. Well, of course. Um, uh, have you met uh, Kirk Anderson? How do you do? Have a pleasure. Madam Grimaldi. <laughs> um, all right, that's, that'll be all. So much for Deemer. No, no, no. No, put on your thinking cap. Put it back on. We're going to pick up... Uh, where we left off when I'm finished with Madame Grimaldi. It's a pleasure to serve you. He's very good at his job, and he thinks he's very cute. <laughs> Sit down, won't you? <laughs> what can I do to be of service to you? Your daughter, my daughter-in-law. I'd like to have a few words with you about Lily. When you start your day at 10,000 RPA, you need a healthy breakfast. But there's this part of me that still gets revved up over frosting. Nothing but sweet frosting. I try to steer clear of fat and salt, but I keep veering towards that great taste of frosting. Slow down there. With Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats, you can have it all. For the adult in you, whole grain wheat, 98% fat free, no salt added. For the kid in you, lightly frosted, great taste. It's important to know what really drives you. The frosting! Used to be, if you wanted a cookie, you came to me. But ever since she discovered Nestle refrigerated cookie dough, my life has been empty. Just look at these flavors. Oatmeal cookies with raisinets, sugar cookies with bits of Butterfinger candy, and all chocolate chip with real Nestle Toll House morsels. Just 10 minutes and you've got warm, chewy Nestle cookies. Oh, I really want one bad. Hey, whatever happened to sharing? New Nestle refrigerated cookie dough. The very best in every bite. I wasn't due for another two weeks. Suddenly there I was, having a cesarean. David was wonderful. And when it was all over, I had this perfect little person. And a lot of pain. Later I was kind of surprised when the doctor gave me Tylenol. With all the other choices they have, but the Tylenol made me feel better. So I could put my mind on more important things. Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. When parents work, the kids should help out at home. My son does the dishes. He's great at it. I can always count on him to do them right away, before any food dries on. No matter who does the dishes, Cascade does the dirty work. Other leading brands can leave spots, so your dishes look dirty. Cascade with sheeting action gets them so clean, they're virtually spotless. Perfect. Thanks to Mr. Dependable here. Tonight on The Late Show with David Letterman, actor Michael Keaton, and Vanessa Williams. We're funny, we're informative, and we won't stick to most dental work. Tonight. The tape will run on patterns. It's very short notice, but a fabulous shot for W.O.A.K. Lily and I were just discussing who would do the interview. And I told you I'd do it. When are Harry and Paula supposed to be here? Tonight. Lily, you've been working since early this morning. Yes, and I still have a lot of reading to do, so... Lily, I think you shouldn't push yourself so hard. Damien, that's 
That's just what I was saying. I'd be more than happy to do the interview so you and Lily can go home. Janice, please, I'd like to talk to Lily alone. Okay, sure. I just want you to know that I called you down here. I don't care, I... Janice, please. Leave us alone now. I thought it was maybe just a momentary interruption, but it's dead as a doornail. I won't play a lick. Well, it'll make a great planter. We could put begonias on the top and dwarf cacti and violets on the turntable. It'd be great. Yeah, I can see it now. The spinning gardens of Luther's Corners. Or we can just wait until Mike gets here and he fixes it. Yeah, because I gotta have my jukebox so I can dance with my wife. Mm. My wife? What a concept. Huh? I know. I keep trying to say my husband in every conversation I have. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Shoot, I just remembered something I meant to do. What? I wanted to go talk to Kirk today. And I've treated him pretty badly, and I really do owe him for standing by me through this really tough time. Well, I guess in a way I owe him too, so... Uh, if you track him down, you explain about our impromptu wedding. Yeah, I will. Okay. Oh, there he is. Come on in, young man. You're just in time. I tell you, I've discovered in married life that a working jukebox is more important than your stove or your refrigerator. Not a fact. Hey, okay, Mike. Well, Kirk is still at the office, so I'm going to go pay him a visit. I'll be back if you even know okay. I'm gone. Hurry up. Mm. And good luck. Thanks. See you later. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you, how'd you and Ludie Bell do in that uh, Turkey 200? Well, not bad, I guess. Not bad, huh? Not bad what? I mean, not bad is we weren't doing too bad till the engine fell out, or uh, not bad, but we finished dead last? As in I won the race. Wait a minute, I thought I, thought I heard you say that you won. Yeah. Well, you won what? You won your heat or what? I won the damn race, okay? You won the race and it's not bad? Okay. I knew you were a hell of a driver. Well, you know, don't get overexcited about it. You know, I've seen a man with severe shin splints look happier. What's bothering you? Rosanna? <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Dad. What are you doing out here? Well, I just came to look for you. Uh, Emma told me I'd find you out here. Well, I wish that she hadn't. I'm not in any mood for company. Yeah, she told me you were a little upset. I'm not upset. I just... I just want to be alone. Well, you certainly picked the right place for it. It's cold. It's dark. Now, listen, Rosanna, I just came to town on business. I, I thought it would be nice to see you. I haven't had a chance to talk to you since the wedding. Uh, look, uh, it may be hard for you to believe, but I do miss you, and I thought we'd uh, get a chance to catch up. That could take years. Yes, I know, but we've got to start somewhere, so uh, how about dinner tonight? No, I... Thanks. I just, I don't think that I'm up to it. Well, how about we talk uh, now, here? No, it's... It's no big deal, all right? Well, why don't you... Tell me what this no big deal is all about. Because I can't. I can't, all right? When it hurts so much, you can hardly swallow ordinary food. That's when you know you've got a miserable sore throat. So why take a cough drop with only one medicine when you can take a chloroseptic with two medicines? Such a powerful sore throat lozenge. It works to stop pain on contact and gives you long-lasting pain relief. With Vicks Chloroseptic, a sore throat is easy to swallow. This is safeguard season. This is a season for germs. But Safeguard antibacterial soap eliminates 99.9% .9 of germs you come in contact with. Safeguard against germs. Memorable. Marvelous. One in a million. Navy. You always feel perfect in Navy. The clean classic fragrance by CoverGirl. 
finally made the offensive line. He's made the offensive line all right. And I never miss practice. Never missed one practice. Presenting Ultra Gain. If things work out, I'll make first string. <laughs> things will work out. Gain's got the power to get tough laundry so thoroughly clean, it smells like it was dried in the sunshine. Now, don't get any dirt on my nice, clean uniform. Uh, no dirt on the uniform? Mm -hmm. Ultra Gain cleans and freshens like sunshine. Tonight, the season's most intriguing new mystery puts everyone under suspicion. Then, which of these people committed murder? You won't reveal it to anybody, no matter what. The shocking answer on picket fences. Tonight, get out. Watch CBS this morning. It's breakfast for your head. I was surprised to find you working so late, Lucinda. It's a beautiful room. Your, your decorator has exquisite taste. Yes, I do. Thank you. Oh, I'm really sorry. I should have known. <laughs> it's essential to have beautiful surroundings when you work as hard as you do. Mm. Yes, mm. I know. Of course, I think every room should be wonderful. I didn't show you my famille noire. <laughs> I'm admiring your necklace. Thank you. Uh, you look so festive. I, I, you probably are going someplace else. But why don't we continue this conversation over dinner? Oh, and be thank my you. Guest. I, I love it. Am. I am. I'm joining Damien and, uh, and Lily at the Falcon Club. We'd be delighted if you would come too. Well, I thank you very much. I accept. Good. It's a funny thing. Um, I do work hard, and sometimes you wouldn't believe it, but I do forget to eat. And I... Uh, I know it's not healthy. I do know better. Yes, well, I just wish Lily knew better. She works such long, hard hours, and I worry about her. She's grown up with a working mother. Mm. The long, hard hours are normal to her. Long, hard hours aren't normal when you're in her condition. I wish she would rest before the baby is born. Well, I certainly can understand your concern, Olena, but... Lily won't do anything to endanger this baby. No, no, of course not. I... I just hope that you and I, together, could exert a subtle influence on her to... just to make her slow down a bit. I thought I'd sort of made that clear when we first met, that I haven't got that kind of influence that I can exert on my grown daughter, subtle or any other kind. But she's smart, you know. She's smart. She will make yes. the right choices. Yes, yes, yes. That's all well and good. But no, you you've got I... to believe something. Please, Orlena, I beg of you, believe that Lily will be a good mother. And I want to be a grandmother. I want to be involved in this child. And so I will not exert any kind of influence, subtle or any other kind, on my grown-up daughter. I will tippy-toe around and I would suggest that possibly that might be the right course with you and your son. Because I, I love him, but he surely is as headstrong as Lily. <laughs> Yes, well, I think we've said all we have to say for the moment, Lucinda. I, I hope I will see you at the Falcon Club. Do have a few words with Lily, for our grandchild's sake. I'm not talking about a special school. This is a special program that's supposed to help kids like RJ make it in a regular school by giving them the necessary support. It's called mainstreaming. Sounds good, but the way you say supposed to makes me think you're not sold. Oh, I'm sold on the idea. It's working like gangbusters in Chicago. It's making it work down here that's the problem. Why is that? RJ's the only hearing impaired kid in Luther's Corners and the grade school just isn't equipped to deal with him. I mean, the law requires that they provide an interpreter, but so far they can't be able to find one around here, and neither can I. So, have you talked to the school officials? I have talked to the principal, the assistant district supervisor, the supervisor, the PTA. I've collared anybody who'll listen. And? Oh, they're all smart as hell and full of theories. I mean, they'll talk your ear off with psychology and optimum result curves. <laughs> but my problem is very simple and very hard. What's the best thing for RJ? How do I give him a chance for a life, a real life? Well, he's already got a good head start. You. I'm just passing on the love that my dad gave me. But see, that's part of my confusion too. RJ and I love that farm, but if I keep him there, then I might be depriving him of an education he needs and deserves. 
I mean, you know, he's so smart. And the director of the program in Chicago thinks that by being in a regular school with other kids like himself and a support staff of trained professionals, that it might help him to adapt better and open up to the world. Well, that seems to make sense. It does, but it's assuming RJ's only problem is that he's hearing impaired, and I'm not sure that that's true. He's had a lot of emotional upheaval in his short life, and I hate the idea of moving to Chicago. Is moving to Chicago the only choice? Unless the school here somehow gets its act together, yeah. It's a little too far to commute. Which means extra expenses just for living and keeping him in school. Which means I'd have to sell my dad's farm, and that idea just kills me. It's the only thing I have left of my family, and I want to hand it on to RJ. I don't know what to do. Do I risk the security he has here by taking him to school in Chicago? Or do I keep him here and risk blowing his whole future? Damn it! <laughs> I understand what he's trying to do, Lily, but he's too much. This is not a whim. This is part of my job. It would be good publicity for the station to have Paula Zahn and Harry Smith on Patty. Yeah, well, I'm sure Kim will be delighted. But I'm just worried about... Well, I told Cal I would take over the responsibilities while he was away. This interview will be good business for the station and good business for the partnership, and I cannot Lily, just for God's that. sake, you know what time it is? It's late. You're obviously tired. You haven't eaten. I'll, I'll have something delivered. What? Pizza? Sandwich? Damien, Come on. please! It's been bad enough dealing with Janice all day! Exactly! You're not supposed to get stressed! You're supposed to avoid it! I want you to leave running the station to Parker. If you feel you have to work, you can help me with the plans for the uh, Kings of Malta new offices here in Oakdale. You can start by talking to the decorator. I'll make curtains. I'll knit booties. Oh my, I'm sure your mother has a list of acceptable jobs for Leave women. my mother you out of this. You leave your mother out of this. I have a job to do. Just like this? Since when does work become more important than when me and our family? When did you decide that I have to choose between the two? Clorox Toilet Cleanser has bleach and abrasives to help make stains disappear. What's for dinner that everyone likes? Hamburger Helper Cheeseburger Macaroni. With real cheddar cheese, it'll keep the whole family smiling. Hot, home-cooked Hamburger Helper. Makes a real good meal for me. <laughs> Betty Crocker knows how to make guys melt. Cheddar Classics Potatoes. Four brand new ways that Betty makes one hot potato. You know the saying, easy is one, two, three? Well, Play School's made it that easy for little kids to do some pretty tough stuff, like ride a two-wheeler. Dylan just couldn't wait, so we got him the Play School one, two, three bike. It's genius. Three easy steps, and we've got a two-year-old on a two-wheeler. Then Amy just had to blade like the big kids, so we got her Play School's inline skates. The training wheel slides out to help them learn, and then slides back. Now, if Play School could only make VCRs that easy. Continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Every time the light goes around, deceit is a means to an end. Oh, Nick, how could you? Every time the light goes around, lies lead to destruction. No, I don't want to hear any more of your talk. And now their love. That's it. It's over. There's no going back now. May never see the light of day. Melinda! On Guiding Light, this week. This is CBS. Holiday shopping by Glamour Shots. You get a luxurious makeover. They get a beautiful portrait. You choose from stylish new looks. They get a beautiful portrait. You get the attention of a fashion photographer, and they get a beautiful portrait. While it is better to give than to receive, at Glamour Shots, you can do both. Now you can get a makeover and photo session for half price. Just call 1-800-GLAMOUR-SHOTS. 
Glamour Shots. This holiday season, picture the possibilities. When you think diamonds this holiday, think Morgan Jewelers. Receive this heart-shaped box absolutely free when you purchase these elegant diamond earrings. Just $50 at Morgan Jewelers. Valley Liquidators on North First has a simple philosophy. All day, every day, find 30 to 80% off thousands of name brand, one of a kind. Are you ready? Auto accessories, baby furniture, strollers, cribs, kitchenware, small appliances, exercise and stereo equipment, watches, tents, clothing, luggage, clocks, and much, much more. Speaking of clocks, time is running out. Thousands of items, most are one of a kind, first come, first serve, all day, every day, and it's all 30 to 80% off. At Valley Liquidators on North First, you got to see it to believe it. A special buddy system helps elementary school kids. And now part two of As the World Turns. I haven't decided anything yet. I was simply suggesting that you take care of yourself for the sake of our baby. I would never do anything to harm the health of this child, you know that. Oh no? Yet here you are, working too late, too hard, not eating properly, not getting the proper rest. What do you call that, huh? Why are you letting this argument with Janice and a stupid interview get you all upset? You are the one that's upsetting me right now. The last thing I need is my husband yelling at me. Why I wouldn't be yelling if you come to your senses? You should be home right now, doing what a woman's supposed to do to get ready to give birth, to give birth to her baby. I'm, I, I, I'm working. You don't need to work. I'm taking care of you, don't I? I, I make money, right? Oh, you Tarzan, me and Jane. Come on, Damien. Live in this century. This isn't about money. This is about self-respect, doing something that I like to do. And you not telling me what to do and when to do it. You understand? Basta. I've had enough of this. You're my wife. You hear me? You should do as I ask without question. Or this attitude. You are truly your father's son, and you are truly married to the wrong woman. I just say, perhaps I am too much my father's son. Too much the old world husband, for you at least. Well, obviously, something must be changed. And I'll see the way that it does. Forgive me for going on like that, Holden. God, I hate it when I fall apart. Do you call that falling apart? Ten seconds of tears and one nose blow? <laughs> You're an amateur. I've had moments when I've lost control. I just can't afford them anymore. Not with RJ. Listen, about RJ's schooling, I'll bet you have more options than you think. I have some business connections in Chicago. And if you do have to move there, maybe we can line you up with a job that's good enough so you don't have to sell the farm. Maybe we could even find a tenant to farm it for you. Thanks, Holden, but... No, no buts. No buts. Maybe you won't even have to move at all. Maybe there's a teacher out there who has the expertise and the training that RJ needs, so maybe they're tired of living in the city and maybe they'd like to come and live and work in Luther's Corners. <laughs> You see that? You've got me feeling more hopeful already. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hello, hello. Did you have a good time? <laughs> well, he was very excited. Part of the car, but he tried not to show it. <laughs> but Aaron just loves that car. Oh, yeah, he loves anything with wheels on it, don't you, buddy? <laughs> Listen, we have this terrific pond, and it's very beautiful in the moonlight. Maybe we could go out and have a look at it. Okay. Do you want to see a pond? We don't need that paragraph in the deem... Well, I'll be damned. Hi, I thought you might be in here. Thanks for waiting. How'd you like the wedding picture I ran in the City Times? I thought it was kind of spiffy. Cal and I both liked it. Listen, about the wedding, um, it was very spur of the moment. You know, we had it in the barn, nothing fancy, no formal invitations. But you had people there, or so I was told. Yeah, we had people there. 
Listen, the truth is that Cal and I didn't think you'd want to be invited. Maybe not. But I'd have liked the choice. Or at least to have been told up close and personal before Evan had a chance to rub my nose in it. I'm sorry, Kirk. Uh, you're right. You deserve better. I'm sorry that I hurt you. Hurt me? No. You just made it clear where we stand. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, after everything you've done for me, I consider you a very dear friend. Really? I don't think you consider me at all. That is not true. Look, maybe I should have invited you to the wedding, but it was a mistake. It was not a definition of my feelings. I like you, Kirk. And I'm grateful for the way you've stood by me. Well, under the circumstances, that could be considered damning with faint praise. Oh, please. I think that you're a wonderful man. And you deserve a woman who loves you as a Spare me the cliches. I don't need to hear that speech. All right. But this is not a cliche. I care about you very much. And I would like to be friends. That would be nice. But it's not possible. Congratulations. Stay happy. Everybody's looking for value nowadays, me too. But you know, just because something cheap doesn't mean it's the best value. We use good cuts of meat and Jimmy Dean sausage, so when you cook it, it doesn't all cook away.